What I recommend is, is actually uh, uh, five different tools. For the first, the sport movement themselves uh, have to agree upon a set of harmonized uh, standards for good governance. And that is possible. Uh, there has been uh, developed lots of standards of good governance uh, during the last years. To harmonize them will be possible because if you have harmonized good standards with, which everybody applies to, then you have something, something to measure up on. The European Convention on Good Governance is necessary because also the governments need to do something. And we need to have a legal framework uh, in each and every country that can be used uh, for combating uh, corruption and also that the police um, uh, have the necessary resources in the countries to go into these cases as it has been, uh, as it has been the case for example in, in the case of uh, FIFA. So also governments uh, need to do something and we can assure that by uh, establishing a convention on good governance in Europe. The example of good practice is basically that each and every sports organization from the local level in the local club to the international uh, federation and the Olympic movement have to be based on democracy, that you have democratic elections, that you have an open economy uh, which, so you can see what's happening in the uh, economy. Uh, and uh, also have uh, external audit systems of economy. This, these are basic things that should be fulfilled by all parts of the sports movement. So we have certain uh, uh, ISO certificates, for example on bribery, which can already be used today. But in fact I suggest that the sports movement themselves uh, participate in developing uh, ISO criteria, ISO certification on good governance uh, at all, because that will be easy uh, for sports organizations all over the world to comply with these uh, ISO certification standards. And then besides of that, you also have uh, a rating, you can establish a rating system so you can measure what that uh, improvements are done uh, over time. And in this it is very important that you can monitor uh, this and also measure each organization and therefore we uh, also ask to have an independent uh, monitoring system uh, that can help see that you fulfill both the ISO standards and uh, the, the ethics uh, rating system.